up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Fox, and let's let's get into some stuff. I watched Young and May's directorial debut film, The Gift. This is an adult film. That means porn, guys. Young and May coming through, redefining the phrase, chick flick. This came out like two years ago. I did not watch it. I didn't feel called to watch it, uh, mainly because I, I don't, I don't really like lesbian porn like that. I think my main issue with it, and I don't know if this is just me, I'm sure it's not, but it's way more fun doing it than watching it. It's, it's, uh, it's like a sports. I don't do those either though. No, I don't, I don't have an analogy that works. I just don't find it uh, wildly visually stimulating, mainly because I don't believe it. I don't believe that these women actually want to be here. I don't believe that these women um, are, in, are even enjoying what they're doing. Most of the time they just kind of look like they're waiting for their break to start so that they can clock out. Everything is also very delicate or the complete opposite side and it's just there's no pace there's just no pacing and it's just very much giving you like uh jackrabbit vibes so going into this i had to keep my own personal opinions to the side because i wanted to really watch this whole 49 minute 49 black american minutes worth of oral if you're watching porn for 49 minutes I don't agree with your lifestyle. How about that? If you're watching porn for 49 minutes, if you're for 49 minutes, your shit has got to look like a wet band-aid at this point. But anyway, so let's get into what this film is actually about. So obviously, a whole lot of sex. Um, but the premise, the plot, because she does give you plot. Young M.A. gives you plot. I believe she wrote it as well. It was this girl's birthday and the girl's girlfriend basically plans her a sex party. She gives her this address. She's like, yo, show up to this address. And as she's walking from room to room, there's a different couple having sex in each room. And then at the end, more so like the, the middle, cause this is, they have the longest sex scene, her and her girlfriend, obviously. It's the last sex scene. From the middle to the end, that they, they are exchanging um, birthday juices. This was not a bad film. Um, as someone who doesn't necessarily tune in to this type of adult content, uh, I did not dislike it. And I did not, I wasn't like turned off by anything that I saw. There was definitely couples that I did not see. This is the thing with me. If I can't see y'all actually being attracted to each other or actually like liking each other in real life, I'm not gonna believe what I'm seeing on screen. Okay, these beans are not being believably flicked for me. So when she walks in, there's a girl on the couch and she's by herself. If you catch what I'm saying, one hand, one sound, okay? And then we move over to the next room, which I believe is the kitchen or it's like, or it's like another kind of foyer and there's another girl in there by herself. And then they go into the kitchen and there's this other couple in there and they're on the counter and they're doing all types of stuff. And this is the thing, this is the thing that gets me about this, these types of like, and I think, and I'm almost positive that every single person in this film was like someone who ranks pretty high up in the porn world. I don't know porn stars by their names, but there is something slightly amateur about some of the, uh, some of the, the acts. And I don't mean that in a good way. And I think that that's just the, another thing about like lesbian content in this way is that it is very played up. It's also hyper feminine. I don't know why I expected there to be a stud in the mix. I don't know, it would have been nice just to mix it up, throw some shit in there, inclusion, that type of thing. But knowing Young M.A., that, that was never going to happen because if there is a stud there, that, that'd be gay. Obviously the last scene, which is the final sex scene with her and her girlfriend is the best one. They have the most chemistry. Um, they look like they actually are kind of enjoying what they're doing. They give you pace, they give you, okay, angles. I will give Young M.A. this. Angles, period. Angles, 
thousand million trillion. I don't know, just something about, cause I hate when I'm watching porn and then I'm like, I can tell this is probably a lit scene. However, I can't really tell because the angle is trash. Um, Young M.A. is giving you angles, okay? The camera is pointed in all the right places, all the places that you would want the camera to be. That camera is. All right, this definitely feels like something that you would watch with a partner, with someone that you are actually having sex with. It gives, you know, laptop on the hotel bed vibes. It, it's giving, you know, let's, you know, it's day 246 in quarantine, let's switch some shit up vibes. So this is not like for your casual viewing. It definitely feels like something you kind of like have on in the background as inspiration uh, while you do what you do. There's really not much else to say about it. I can't link it down below because YouTube gonna have my ass, but I will just say Google Young M.A. Pornhub The Gift. And shout outs to Young M.A. and Pornhub for making it free because she they knew, they knew. As soon as you ask me for debit card information, I'm gone. But yes, just Google it. You will find it. It'll pop up fairly easily. And my final rating from one to 10 eyelash extensions, I give it five and a half lash extensions. If you watched it, let me know what you thought uh, in the comments. However, be, okay, let's use code words maybe in the comments because I don't want hey, 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 hey. Like I said, I don't want no beef. Okay, with, with YouTube and stuff. But yeah, I will see y'all very soon in another one. Bye, girl. This video is not 10 minutes and I don't wanna upload this video if it's not at least 10 minutes long because then YouTube won't recommend my video and I won't get my coin and then I'm gonna be on the street and then eventually end up in the slammer. So I don't wanna become a statistic. So I'm just gonna dance for the rest of the video. And I don't wanna be homeless. Oh God, girl. <laughs> Give me a beat. Happy Black History Month. <laughs>